Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. As most of you know, uh, Bill O'Neill from uh, Daily Graphs and the Investor's Business Daily uh, passed away here a couple days ago at the age of 90. Uh, happened to know that young, uh, that young fellow very well because uh, it was during the 80s there in the 70s and 80s there in West L.A. His office was in the marina. They lived out uh, Westlake Village. In fact, my my ex-wife taught uh, all four of his kids. Uh, the younger kids, of course, were in school with Jill and Laren, and Laren, uh, Jill dated uh, uh, Bill's youngest son for quite some time. But what you don't know, and not many people know this because we were really close to the family, is that in 88, when he decided to go against the Wall Street Journal, he had to leverage everything he had. I mean, he borrowed, he maxed out every credit card. He cut back expenses in order to get the investors business daily started because he thought that Wall Street, Wall Street Journal was going downhill so fast that he thought that he could out, out publish, publish them and he did over a period of time and he made a fortune doing it and he's a super nice guy. He used to be on KWHY uh, all the time, well twice a week and I'd seen him there several times and of course we've been out to dinner and stuff over the years because the families were so close. But another thing you don't realize is that he had a partner, a silent partner named Al McGuire. And Al was the money man. When uh, Bill needed money for something, Al knew how to get it. And he was well, uh, you know, he was well known everywhere. Uh, everywhere. And he, he had a, a really good reputation. So it was really, it was a slam dunk. He had a great product. It was better than the Wall Street Journal. That was basically it. And he had a lot of help from KWHY getting started and stuff. And Merrill Lynch, was also a big help, but Al McGuire was uh, one of the big the big things. And Al passed away, oh, about eight or nine years ago. But Al had a son named Mike, and you'll never guess who my daughter lives with. Yep, that was her first boyfriend in Westlake Village uh, when she was 13. Was Mike McGuire, and uh, that was Al. That was uh, Bill 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 O'Neill, silent partner. I don't know if he gets credit or not, but we certainly uh, knew what it was about. I'll tell you a funny story about Mike. He was uh, in high school, and he broke a leg. He was a football player, and he broke his leg, and he was in Westlake Hospital. And so I went up to see him, and he's dating my, my daughter. They're 16 and 7. He was a year old. He's 16 and 17. And so he's laying there in bed, and they had uh, it was a pretty bad break. It was compound fracture and stuff. And so he was there, and, and I walked up to him, and I gave him a $100 bill. And he says, what's that for? I said, I don't ever want you to see my daughter again. I was saying it in jest, of course. And my daughter, Jill, she, she didn't quite pick it up. But uh, Mike did anyway. It was a standing joke. Uh, but they lived together in San Luis Obispo. But, boy, he, he'll be missed. He was a – you talk about a class act. He, he really was. He did everything by the book. Everybody cared for him. There never a crossword about him. He had a great product. It was just, uh, it was really something to uh, see. He lived such a good, and he was healthy up until the last two years, I, I was told. Uh, but uh, anyway, Al, Al McGuire passed away, uh, I think, eight or nine years ago, because Jill and Mike had been together about four years. But uh, can't say anything bad about that dude. Let me tell you, he was a class act. No other way about it. And I posted a chart up here, the S&P, uh, without the... Uh, those those uh, seven stocks, as you can see, and all I did, someone asked me to draw the ABCD patterns on this, and of course I did. As you can see, what you're looking at here is this AB equals CD pattern. I personally think that we've made some type of a major top up here with this blow off with artificial intelligence and stuff like that. And let, let me explain to you about artificial intelligence. Uh, Sarah's grandson, Avery, is 12, and he's just graduating 
uh, from the Philadelphia School, which is a very prestigious school there in uh, Philadelphia for his, uh, I think he's in the sixth grade now. Yeah, sixth grade. And uh, he had to write a paper, and he wrote this incredible paper about politics, health, and things that were just really incredible. It was uh, probably a thousand words. And I told him, I said, Avery, I said, that's the most incredible thing. I said, I can't believe you're, you're, you're that smart. He says, well, I use a, a, a chat, GBT, chat or whatever it was, chat GBT. He said, that's what I use. And I said, you mean that's, they, they allow you to do that? And he said, yeah, all the kids use it. And here he's 12 years old. Are you kidding me? My goodness, I don't know what the radio. No, it wasn't radio GDP. It was Chat GBT. Is what it, Chat GPT is what it was, and they use it in the school there. And uh, I mean, I can tell you one thing: the kids in the public schools don't have that kind of stuff. So I don't know. Let's get on with some of these markets because we've got a big thing going. Our good friend Mr. Shane Smolian is our guest today. Uh, we had a question about platinum. One of our, our folks sent this really neat chart in on platinum, and all I'm going to do is expand it a little bit so we can see what's going on with it. And you'll be going up here to see. There you are. That's what it is. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my platinum chart and draw the picture in with a little more data behind it because uh, the gentleman's interested in buying platinum. And if this is the place to buy platinum, then by golly, that's probably the place. You can see that's exactly about the time we want to be looking to buy platinum, right at that 618 Garley. Now, you know, we've been bullish gold here for uh, quite some time. That was our big trade uh, this week was the gold. Uh, well, two of them. Uh, one of them was a uh, uh, the disaster that, well, not a disaster. We lost 20 cents in November beans, but we're going to get that back. I got the handle on what's wrong with that puppy, but we'll get it done. Here's the, you can see the similarities in the gold market. You had 17 days down, 17 days down. Uh, we went right. These were equal uh, in space. We didn't get down to the 382 level, but we made a perfect ABCD. I'll show you that on the, uh, the next chart that we're looking at because we have to follow them one at a time because they're moving so quickly. This is a, a shorter term version of that. What I want you to see when you're looking at that is we didn't get that bottom because we were looking at the June contract and they had rolled it over to August. So what we had to do was to buy that 382 retracement right here. And so we did. And that, that's had about a $26 move. Now, folks, if you're only risking $10, okay, and you make $26, you got to put your stop in somewhere. I mean, you you don't you can't expect it to go uh, two hundred dollars higher. So when you make two or three times what you're risking, you've got to protect yourself or take some profits. I mean, these these are not these are not trades for monthlies or weekly. These are shorter term trades where you don't have to spend uh, an arm and a leg, you know, trying to to buy this stuff. So that's a that's a real thing that you want to remember. It's not about how much money you make; it's about how much money. You don't lose. Now, I try to teach people this, but you know, sometimes uh, people get a little greedy, and once in a while, even I get a little bit greedy. But uh, believe me, greed's not going to pay the bills. What's going to pay the bills is focusing on how much money you've got at risk, not how much money that you're going to make. So we'll be right back, and I want to talk a little bit about natural gas because that was in the play yesterday, and we need to talk about that. So we'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the natural gas from yesterday, and as you can see, uh, we went down with your little red box there, was the exact number, uh, and that was the buy. It was a perfect Gartley. It did everything that you could possibly ask. Now, folks, if you're risking, if you're risking $500 on something like this, okay, which is roughly 10 points, and it makes you 30 points, do you realize that you must be looking at some place where you want to be able to take profit somewhere? Well, let, let me show you what happened to natural gas after it hit that number, okay? Because this is where. Uh, these patterns that we look at uh, really give you a lot of help. But if you go back over the last four days, uh, like, excuse me, that's a little more than that, uh, you'll see that we went right up to the exact 382 retracement, uh, right on the money. You just can't, uh, hold on, what am I doing? There we are. I think we got it now. See if that chart is up now. Uh, Al, could you, or Jay, could you let me know that that is, uh, is, if not, I will, it's up now, okay? So you can see, uh, it went and made a 382 retracement and has dropped, uh, you know, quite a bit. So you, you bought it right here. And at this spot right here at your 382, you've made $1,500. Now, I think anybody that sees something like that, and I what I, <laughs> I can't do this because it happened so fast that you can't do it. But you, if you're watching for these spots of resistance and stuff, it's very, very important. Because if you bought it at 25 and it goes to 42 that's $1,700. You know, that's, and, and not only that, it did it in, in a matter of about 15 minutes, and then it gave it back up. And look what happened after that. This is what's, this is what's exciting about these numbers. If you learn to look, look for them, and that's what we do, if you'll take a look at this, this is a, uh, the same pattern, and all I did was I blew it up a little bit so that you could see that what happened, there was your first 382 retracement right here, Look at your second one right here. I mean, my goodness. I mean, that even that would have been a place to get out or even get short, for heaven's sakes, because now you're down below the 78% level. 
And of course, we had big moves in crude oil today. It was down two dollars and something at one hand. at one time. We hit the sixty-one percent retracement, and then came storming back. And that's uh, some of the things you want to watch. Now let's look at the one that didn't work. Now this is the November soybean chart. I figured it out, and I told everybody in the news uh, in the um, the uh, what do you call it the. Uh, videos that I send out that this is what we were looking for here. Now, this is November beans at the 50% level, okay? The July beans were at uh, 1294, and they held there really well until yesterday, late in the late in the evening, China came in uh, again in Shanghai and started selling oil and meal, uh, not so much corn, but they sold uh, oil and meal, and that pushed the prices down even more. And we were stopped out of that right near the low of the day. Now, we had made 60 cents on that during that first rally back in here. But we gave back uh, more than half of it. We gave back twice, uh, once at 20 cents. No, once at 10 cents, another at 10 cents. So we were net 40 cents on that, but it went down. But, folks, this is a flat-out blessing in disguise because I did the work on, on one of these markets that starts with a W and ends in a T. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but if you want to look at a market that's really ready to rock and roll, and I mean rock, uh, get take a look at that market that starts with a W and ends in a T because it's going to look really good. Now, let's take a look here at the stock market. Now, this is the one. Uh, we did this uh, from the very beginning, telling you where to look for the 382 retracement on this because this was not – what was going on, it was all about artificial intelligence, but there was the big rally that we had right there at the 382. The market has dropped 600 points from that level, and you can see that uh, we're almost down to the buy point. Now, what's interesting about this, we've got some people that are fans, <clears throat> excuse me, that are fans of the Fibonacci stuff, and several are over in the UK. But I want you to take a look at this chart that we're going to post right now because it's not quite up to date. But I'll let you put in the figures so you can see they were almost made a beautiful ABCD Gardley here at the 78 percent level in the Dow Jones. So if there's going to be a rally, the Dow Jones will most probably be the one that's going to be a pretty good rally. But if you remember the S&P, this is the same thing that we saw on the S&P. The difference was the S&P rallied to the 382, okay? And that said that the low today should be somewhere down here at around 1178. Uh, I think the low was 1169 or something like that. I haven't checked it lately of what it is, but there was your first 382 retracement. There was your second 382 retracement. And I didn't bother to draw in the A, B, C, D to the down leg right here. So let's take a wild guess and maybe what should we be looking for now? Look at old Johnny right there in the back of the room holding up his 382 plaque. So all you got to do is you mark up here, you go down to the bottom and watch that 382 rally. Because that's going to be the really, really key one. Folks, if we could make a 382 rally here, this is Wednesday. It'll be followed closely by Thursday. And our guest tomorrow will be, as I recall, oh, please don't let me forget. Oh, what did I do wrong now? Oh, I got it right here somewhere. Stan, Har Stan Harley's our guest tomorrow. We'll talk about Bill O'Neill because we know Bill very, we knew Bill very well. And then Friday, we're going to have uh, Bob Miner uh, as, uh, as our guest. Um, so we'll have Bob as a new guest. He's been on many years ago, but he's married now, living in uh, South Carolina or Georgia or North, Car North Carolina, I think. Yeah, Greenville, North Carolina is where he is. Anyway, uh, he'll be our guest uh, on Friday. But let's watch, let's just hope that we have – this is today's Wednesday. Now, you add one day to Thursday and two days to Friday. If we can get a little 382 rally in this S&P up into this zone right here. That's where's my little bell at? That's way over there. I can't reach it. That's the Christmas bell. That's like a Christmas present, especially if it would do it in just a beautiful A B equals C D format. That's a Gartley at a three eight two in the market that we believe has made a major top. Remember, we had an order to sell it here at forty two forty five. It only got to forty two forty three. We missed that by a point and a half. This is where we said sell that first three eight two retracement. There was a second 382 retracement, 
And uh, I was unfortunate I haven't been able to put the moving averages and the stochastics and the Wells Wilder formulas along with the percent R's uh, on this chart because my technical indicator uh, function is uh, malfunctioning uh, much like it has been over the past uh, 47 years. But anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today in some of these things. There was one other one, and our good friend uh, Shane will be on. But look, you want to talk about following a trend. And th look at this, folks. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. This is the euro. This darn thing's been going down. Look at this. 382, 382, 382, 382. Today, 382. That's, that's an $800 move today, just today. From that 382 right there. Check the figures yourself if you don't believe me. Go back and look at them. This isn't rocket science stuff. Johnny's got his hand up and saying, yes, it is. No, it's not, Johnny. It's a lot easier than that. Stay tuned. The Wolf Trader, direct from Transylvania. He'll be here very soon. Mr. Shane Spoyan, a very strong follower of the Miami Heat. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Shane Smolian, the Wolf Trader. Dot com on the air. Also the number one fan, oh, number two fan of the Miami Heat right behind Little Jackson. I imagine he's going crazy getting ready for the finals. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, this oh, is yeah. good stuff. 
Yeah. I can remember the Larry Bird days at uh, when Boston was uh, popular during the 80 to 1992. Please, let's talk about the markets, my friend. People are really interested in what you're what you have to say because you've been bullish and it certainly looks strong. So what are you looking at, my friend? Well, okay, well we can start with the S&P here if that's okay. That's a good good way to start. You, you bet. So we track just as a as a as an introductory note here. We uh, we track the S and P on a newsletter service, but I, I've also been including the Nasdaq and the Russell in there. And the reason is we have a pairs trade going with the Nasdaq, which I'll get into. And it's important because the Nasdaq is leading us higher, so that's an important thing to look at. So these are just some headlines that I talked about. Uh, I I posted this. Earlier last month, I, you know, I've, I've been saying for a while that you know the bear market's likely over since October, which is really when the Fed started pushing, putting their foot on the pedal here. Uh, but I confirmed the bull market last month. It was confirmed with the Nasdaq. Uh, so we have long-term positions now in the Nasdaq on the long side. Uh, so in addition to the trades that we make with our shorter-term polar or squares, I have a long-term position that I'm just not touching on the Nasdaq right now. Uh, Fed is continuing to build strength. Uh, this is a big key here. This is the driving force behind the bull market. Uh, and then the combined Saturn cycle, which we'll get into, this is a long-term model. It's I, I kind of think of it as, as the roadmap for how the market's going to do in the year. Uh, that made an important low on March 20th, and that's going to be heading up until about July. And I think, we're, I think July is going to be some type of a short-term peak in the market. Uh, so that, you know, the Saturn cycle agrees with that. And then most of the models are turning bullish. I, it, you know, I just looked at the, the, uh, the dates. It's been a while since I've been on the show. It, it was like last a April, April twentieth or something, and uh, I was talking then how everything was turning very bullish, uh, and the, and the Fed internals are are hooking up sharply. So these are the things that we look for. Uh, I show every day just kind of a simple moving average picture here, and you know once this fifty crossed above the two the two hundred, this is the Nasdaq here. Uh, you can see that these lows are making a series of higher lows, and this was going parabolic. Uh, so this is definitely the sign of a bull, not a bear. Uh, so you know this is this is just a very rudimentary indicator, but it's something that we do like to take a look at because it is something that the networks will talk about. Uh, this, it's, you know, this is the, the famous golden cross and the moving averages, and the S and P rarely closes below the 200. If you go all the way back to 2010, even during COVID, it didn't. So it just crossed back up. Now the Nasdaq is ahead of the S and P, uh, but you know both of these are still in a, in a, in a very nice position right now, uh, going forward. So we talk about daily info here. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I have a series of new systems. So I'm always developing new systems. Uh, this particular system is called the Wolf Spread Trader. Now this actually started out uh, looking at Bitcoin and gold. The, the spread between Bitcoin and gold because it, it does very nicely. It does very nice in differentiating, you know, you should be long Bitcoin, short gold, et cetera. We looked at this for about 10 months as a proof of concept. And then we started expanding out to other markets. And so there's two ways you can do the pairs trade. First of all, the pairs trade, this is the NASDAQ here and this is the S&P. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do a pairs trade uh, just to be long one and short the other. That's the traditional pairs trade. It hedges the risk. So for example, you could be in tech, you could be long Apple or short Broadcom at the same time if you're doing two tech stocks that are moving in tandem. But in this particular case, I'm looking to use this as a switch. And I've talked about this in many webinars, that this is something where I feel bullish on this market. I, you know, We're looking at what the Fed is doing. So the question is, which market do I want to be long in? And because this relative strength here is with the NASDAQ, this is the market that we want to be long in right now. So this is the one that's showing the preferred strength. Uh, and there and there will be times where the S and P becomes strong and the Nasdaq becomes weak. So as long as I feel bullish on this with the Fed juice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be switching to the stronger market. Right now it's Nasdaq, uh, so that's that's kind of where we are with this. So this is a new, relatively new system. It's I would say it's about a it's over a year old, but we we just started putting up the Nasdaq S and P, and I think this gave us a lot of insight. For people who just want to do a longer-term trade, I mean, we have short-term trades, but this is just kind of a longer-term deal, uh, and so you know, this is this is where the strength is right now. So it's long Nasdaq, uh, short S&P, or just I'm just I'm just long Nasdaq. Now this is the S&P versus the VIXY. Uh, this is another pairs trade here. This one is going back to uh, we started this back in 
January. So January the third here, you can see you can when the S&P goes long, the, the VAXY is going short. So they go in opposite directions. And, you know, a lot of people look at the VIX as like absolute numbers, like, oh, the VIX is at this level, it turns. And I don't really care about that so much. I care about the Paris trade. So I just want to make sure that they're going in opposite directions, which they, which they are. Uh, so this is still a nice Paris trade to be looking at here. You can also just look at this as a switch for the S&P to say, okay, it's a proxy to go long on the S&P. But both of these models are holding on very well. So it's been since uh, March 22nd that's been in that trade. So, you know, I look, I, I like to look at many different models uh, and because I want to see different angles at the market and they're, they're pretty much all in agreement right now that we're headed higher. So go, this is, now this is a really important shot here. This is the Fed internals as we track it. Now going back here to 1028, this is when we covered our short positions. We had a long-term trade. I mean, this was a long time I held short on the S&P from December. I mean, the only time I, I did roll the contracts over at the end of the of, of the period, but essentially I was just short the whole time. OK, so this this was a period where I felt like we needed to cover the shorts into here. And I was telling people said that, you know, the, the bear market is probably over at this point because we were looking at what was happening with the Fed here. This is going back to the British guilt operation when uh, they cracked. Basically, the, the Fed cracked uh, the you know, the, the the bond markets got trapped or these pension funds got trapped. And in the same week that they did a rate hike, they did quantitative easing. So at that moment, I realized when I started looking at the internal starting to spike up like this, that that was probably the end of it. I mean, they're still, you know, hiking rates and they're plateauing. But in terms of the, the real, real tightening, that's when it ended back here in October. And this has been climbing ever since. And so this is now in a period of surging here. Now, on the, the S&P is lagging the NASDAQ, of course. But you know we're long on the NASDAQ because that's the market that's showing the relative strength. But this is really the driving engine. So if you want to understand what's going on with the S&P or equity markets, you have to focus on the Fed and the Fed use. You will not understand this market. If you try to look at it through the economy, if you, you will not understand it. If you try to look at it through CPI, you, know, you have all these AI models. Now, I, I put AI models up all the time. The CPI is plummeting. It's plunging. It's falling. But the the model the reports that we get are lagging. They're lagging by a month or two months. So well, I try to under, try to understand that we have a real time feedback now in the markets. And I'll probably do a webinar about this. But ever since 2010, the Fed changed the whole system. And so what used to take you know lag for months and months and months, now this is all in real time. And so we have to track what's going on with the Fed in real time. So that's that's why we look at this. And so this is really a telling picture here. Uh, and this paints the picture of a bull market. This is the driving force behind the bull market, and it's getting stronger as we go. So that's just one of the things we look at. Now, this is the market with the geomagnetic storms. Um, geomagnetic storms, uh, we just came through an active season. We've got to pay, these, we've got to pay a few bills, sure. my friend. Come back with sure. the geomagnetic storms, because I know the Fed publishes this stuff. We'll be right back. Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Would you please continue? Sure. So uh, we, we've been establishing the fact that we're, we're in this bull phase driven by the Fed. Uh, we want to be, you know, looking for the stronger market, which in this case, it's the NASDAQ. So on 425, the NASDAQ goes long. But in addition to that, we have these storms that come up. So the Fed published, a, as you noted before, the Fed published a paper on this. When these storms come, it stifles the market progress. Now, Usually, when we were in the bearish phase of this market, you can see here when this storm comes, the market really starts to have issues. But I want you to notice that each time that these storms came, the market really, it, it, it stifled the progress, but it didn't decline. And so that's that's a sign that there's like there's some underlying strength here. And so I was telling people, look, this is a relative, I know it's not going up, but there's a relative strength here building because normally these storms, and some of these were big storms, like G3 storms, G4 storms that normally that sends the markets lower in this case it didn't uh, so to me that's an underlying bullish sign uh, for these markets so uh, we talked about the Fed G okay so we talked about Fed internals let's talk about the actual activity of the geomagnetic storms so this is this is an annual plot this was actually published by the Federal Reserve of Atlanta they published a paper on this this is the solar storm activity so we're we're coming at we're in May finishing May right now so you can see there was a peak in March and April, so we're at the end of May, we're gonna come down into June and then down into July. What does this mean? Well, typically this corresponds with bullish conditions. And so when these when this storms when these storms start to fall, you get a, a, a more cl a clearer path for the market to go up. Uh, it doesn't mean there can't be storms into here. There still can be storms. It's just it drops. It drops by half into here. So I think this corresponds with we're looking at a July high on equities. Uh, probably the first week of July, I think that's a good time. And then it ramps up again, and then you you know that in October, that's the month where we get the most market crashes. So that that you know that's the famous month. So that's also the month where the solar storm activity is the highest, and that corresponds with a low too. So this is an inverted picture of the actual solar cycle, and then it falls off again into December. Of course, we get our holidays and our Christmas rally, and things get calmer to there. So. There's really not too much activity coming up. This is a, a daily rundown that I give. Oh, this one isn't updated here, but I thought I updated. Anyway, there's no activity coming up here, so it's pretty bullish for the next few days. So uh, I, I do want to talk about another model that I've developed. It's called the Wolf Trader Wave System. Now, this is a wave system. I did a whole series about different wave counting methods and the, 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 the advantages and the disadvantages. So I try to take all of the disadvantages and I created my own wave trading system because I don't believe that every wave count is the same for every market. And it's a fractal and you go down, it's always a fractal. It's just, I don't believe that. Uh, in fact, when you and, and then all the waves are connected all the time, I don't believe that. If you go to the beach and you surf, you know that waves come in sets. They're not always coming in unless it's a storm. So I developed a system called the Wolf Trader Wave System. It uses machine learning. 
Uh, and this is a big advancement because it allows us to forecast out into the future a little bit. Now, it doesn't have that whole uh, set of rules that you see with other systems that's just the same for everything. It's always going to be uh, optimized. This particular system is showing that the, the S&P is, is going to the next peak to this wave, which started back here on January the 6th, is going to peak around uh, July the 7th. And so that's interesting because there's a Saturn cycle, which also peaks around July the 7th. So I think that's our next best chance at a high here. Now, I just drew some Fibonacci points here. Uh, the thing about this Wolf Trader Wave System, it's a time-based series, so I don't know the, pro the projected levels. But if you just take some of these Fibonacci levels, these would be the next two levels that the S&P would want to go to uh, if it does keep going higher from here. So I think that's what we're looking at here. Now, the Wolf Trader Wave System, it can work on the weekly, the daily. I even trade intraday on it with a 30-year bond. Uh, but each time frame, I just want to emphasize, this, is different. It's not a fractal system. I just don't think that that is useful. Uh, I've looked at other systems like that, and so this is why I developed this system. So this is a new forecasting model uh, that that we have, we go by, and I just I, I think it's been very very good. Uh, and like I said, if you can trade this on the intraday, the the stability of price tends to increase as you go up in time frame, because you get less noise. So the weekly, the daily, and the weeklies tend to be a little bit better. Uh, this is a chart of Apple. Uh, this is the Wolf Trader wave on the daily system. And so the way that the system works is that these waves can terminate. Uh, if they don't if they don't get going right away, they terminate. Uh, so what we have here is we have Apple on this upward trend. It tried to do a down wave. It terminated. What does that mean? It means that on the next pullback of Apple, that this is forecasting another 30 trading days higher. Now, I think that's going to put us right near that July high. So at that point, we'll see where we are in July. But to me, this is the, and, and the thing about these charts, they all pretty much line up. Uh, this t this tells us that there's another leg up coming for Apple that's probably going to go into into early or mid July if if this is correct. But I, I feel I feel pretty good about it uh, from everything that I've seen. And I actually tra like I said I, I actually traded on the entry day uh, on the 60 minute on on the bonds. So I talked about the Saturn cycles, uh, the S and P Saturn cycles. I like Saturn. I think in general Saturn is one of the best. If you're going to use a planet to time markets. Uh, this is this is probably one of the best planets. Saturn and Kronos are the two best. Kronos is a trans-Neptunian, but these are the two best in terms of forecasting. And this is telling us that we're bullish until 2025. Uh, so you know you got about two years here of bull cycle uh, according to this the Saturn cycle, which kind of makes sense. You're coming into an election year. Uh, generally, it's positive running up to the election. So I think that this this agrees with that that concept that hey you know the election coming up this is likely bullish and so uh, if you just look at the the annual cycle this is this year for the S&P this now this is a this is a combined Saturn cycle this is a smaller term looking cycle but this particular cycle I, I look at multiple planets uh, with Saturn so I'm looking at not just Saturn by itself but I'm looking at multiple planets right now we're in this phase this drive phase higher in the Saturn cycle which is going to take us uh, shockingly enough right into around that first week of july around the 7th or the 10th and so i think the fact that this agrees with the wolf trader wave i think there's a good chance that we're going to be continuing to press higher here probably into that july period and then also i want you to think back for a second when i talked about the geomagnetic storms that that activity is dying off so the fact that the storms are getting lighter and the fact that we have the Saturn cycle and the fact that we have the wolf, you know, we have that we have this, we have the wolf trader wave forecasting up until July the 7th. And now we have this Saturn cycle saying, hey, we're right in the middle of this drive phase higher. And if you look at the Nasdaq, it really agree. It's really playing this out. I mean, it's following this almost to the T. Uh, of course, the Nasdaq is, is higher. It's, it's higher alpha and all of that. It's beta stocks, all that stuff. But. To me, this is when you get this much agreement, that's kind of what you want to see. And I'm looking at different systems. It's not like, you know, if you look at RSI and stochastic and rate of change, they're all kind of the same indicator, right? And so you may have these different indicators on the chart, but they're all kind of just saying the same thing. That's not what this is. These are all different ways to look at the market. The solar storms is different. The Wolf Trader Wave is different. The Paris trade is different. The Saturn cycle is different. So I always try to look at mutually exclusive events to see if they can agree. And they're all basically saying that we're heading higher here for the next, at least the next 
at least the next five to six weeks. And then after that, we will see there's another peak coming out into, it drops and there's another peak out into October. But overall, I think the debt ceiling, the resolution, this is, these are all positive things that, that they've reached this, this resolution here uh, on the debt ceiling. So hey, stay with us. So we got to pay a few bills, but I want you to stay with us, okay? Sure. Okay, we'll be right back with Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, my friend, uh, Al, <coughs> excuse me, um, Shane. Tell the yes. folks how they can reach you and uh, some of the different services that you offer. I know you offer a lot of them. It's probably the best to just give a blanket uh, place where they can go or see some of your webinars and watch you in action because it's really quite spectacular, the stuff that you can do. It's, it's, uh, it's really pretty cool. Well, thank you, Larry. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so uh, you can visit me at wolftraderfutures.com. We have newsletters uh, in multiple markets. So we, ha we have S&P, Metals, Energy, currencies, cryptocurrencies, I have grains and financials, and we also have a Uranian letter, uh, which is astrology based, just straight astrology based, not necessarily markets. And we also do stock ETF services too. That's where the Apple comes in. But every Saturday, if you guys want to come out and join us at eight o'clock every morning, we have a free webinar on YouTube. And that channel is Wolf Trader Futures. And, and that's at eight o'clock. And I really encourage you to come out. We, we, we have a live chat running 
where we talk. And so every week I try to do a different topic. I'll probably expand upon what I talked about today, uh, this Saturday. So you can go there and sign up. You'll get a notification. But that's every Saturday at 8 o'clock. Uh, so that's just something. If you want to come out and check it out, uh, you, pl please feel free to come out. That's the place to do it. Uh, I'm there pretty much every Saturday. I mean, occasionally I miss a Saturday, but I, I try to be there and I try to come up with topics, especially if people write in to me. They write in all the time. I try to answer all the emails. Uh, it may take a while, but I do try to answer them. And if you if you want a topic, I, I try to cover the topics that, that the people ask about. So that's just where you can reach us. We're there every week. And then wolftraderfutures.com or fedjuice.com. Uh, is, is, is where you can reach us. And my email is shane at wolftraderfutures.com. If you want to reach out to me, if you have a question, uh, that's the place to do it. Well, that's great. Listen, we're going to have you on again soon, a little bit more often than we've had, because I know uh, this, the, the, the finals are only going to take four games. You're going to sweep in four, I hope. <laughs> so tell Action Jackson I'm rooting for him. Okay, buddy? I will. Let's go Heat. Yeah, go Heat. See you tomorrow, folks. Our guest will be Stan Harley. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.